All right, so on the 2009 Beetle, the plastic door handle broke off and looking up online, this is a pretty common occurrence. So I took out the one bolt already. They're about yay long and use a fat Phillips head bit. I put one on my little uh, ratcheting screwdriver to get break them loose. The other one is right there. I have loose, but uh, these plastic housings of the what remains of the old door handle, they're just kind of you know molded in there so you, what you're gonna have to do before you put the new handles in i have upgraded ones here upgraded because they're aluminum and not cheap pl plastic so as you can see the dimples will face toward the outside with the countersunk holes and that's uh just smooth on the other side so you see it's gonna fit just like that however it's not sitting flush against the uh door handle because there's still some the molding of the broken off old door handle still there so what i'm going to do is i'll just take the uh the dremel tool with a little uh, a little one inch cutting wheel and i'll just cut away at this until that new handle can sit flush and with the new handle i got these um aluminum spacers with a uh what appears to be a stainless um countersunk hex cap bolt if you will it's a 532nd bit so i got that out i'll put it, that in the ratcheting screwdriver and go with that and then the uh driver's side the old original factory plastic door handle still intact so i guess i'll just leave it there until i break it or maybe i'll change it out at the same time here but that's my process and i'll show you an after okay so after some uh cutting out the old plastic with the Dremel tool. This is how the new aluminum handles and they're nice and firm, solid. That's how they sit in the uh, door handle, at least on the passenger side. And the spacers are a little long if you want the handle to sit flush with the rest of the door. So if you really wanted to, you could, um, you could skim down, cut off a little bit of each spacer just to get it to sit, sit flush. I mean, these are sticking out of hair. I'm not too worried about it. If you are, then if you have a lathe, then you can face off. Call it, you know, eight inch, maybe less, hundred thousandths, and or just cut it off with a cutting wheel or something. You can do that, but I think it's uh, I think it's pretty good, pretty good piece. Definitely better than stock. So there you go. That's your uh, video there on the 2009 Beetle. Little odds and ends. It's running pretty good. You know, knock on whatever. But um, been a pretty good little car so far. Thanks for watching.